Let's go mudlarking on the very edge of Wales. Today folks, we've come to a location right on the edge of Wales, behind Caroline, behind the camera, we have the Old Seven Crossing and we are here at Beachley, so we're going to have a look in this area which Charlie, one of the guys who follows us, contacted us on Facebook and told us about. So big thank you to Charlie, let's go see what we can find on this gorgeous day, on this gorgeous place, as we look out over England and we search and beachcomb Wales. Come on, let's see what we've got. Well, let's have a look straight on the ground here because I've seen something. I can't believe this. Within a minute of being here, I found a bit of pipe stem. Look at that. It's really clean because it's been washed by the seawater. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I hope that means we're going to find good things today. Oh, and what I have found you got? a bit of pot and some sea glass. So there we are, pipe stem, pot and sea glass. Another piece of sea glass there, all yes. just where we're standing in order to make our oh, intro. Oh, look at those. So this has got to be a good start. Well, I can see, oh, that can't be, surely not. Is that another piece of pipes then? I think it is. Oh, wow. Look, it's another piece of pipes then. Oh, oh, that's it. I am in my element. I'm going to be here for hours. There's lots to see on this beach today, but what am I looking for especially? Well, because of the Roman connection, because the Romans were here and there are garrisons and forts and things, well, the remains all around the area. There's even the foundations of a Roman fort in the town I was born in. So hopefully we'll find a little bit of Roman pottery. Roman glass would be good. A Roman gladiator's shoe would be even better. But I don't mind. If we can find pipe stems, I'll be happy. This is an absolutely stunning view. It's a beautiful day. It's a bit windy, so sorry if there's any wind noise on the camera. But look at that for a mudlark in view. There will be noise right the way through this mudlark because the traffic up on the AM48 up there is very noisy. We're going to look down now and we're on this muddy area which is really sticky mud. Which just reminds me I haven't got my grabby thingy. Oh, I'm going to have to, yeah, I'll send my man back to the car to get it. Can we have a look what I've got first? 
Oh, let's have a look what you got. Oh, this is a gloopy, gloopy, sticky mud. Look at that. Yeah. That one? Oh, that's nice. Bottom of a bottle, Big obviously. chunk of something old there. Eh? Another nice piece of sea glass. Oh, very well worn. And another lovely worn piece. And our first event of Final Patent. Yep. Oh, let's have a look. A uh, plane, I say. Oh, no, it's patent. And this one, I'm going to say patent. <laughs> this plane. Hey, I no, win. <laughs> not out of two for me. That doesn't happen often. I found a hat. Oh, what a very nice hat. Also Where did you get it. that hat? Where did you get that hat? It was it was camouflaged. See, it was on the floor. Now that's something that is driving me bonkers at the moment. Yes. The amount of surgical masks that I'm finding dumped around the place. If you wear one, please put it in the bin when you finish with it. We've decided to make our way up to the furthest extent of the beach and then work our way back because at the moment the tide is out. Now, this river is notorious for mud and people getting trapped. Some people have actually died, so I'm not going to take any risks. We're going to the furthest extent and then working our way back safely so we know when the tide is coming in and when we need to put our foot down. Guess what I think I found? Oh, I don't know. Another piece of pipe step? Never! I think so. Oh, wait! <laughs> Before I come to you, look! I looked down and I see one! Right. Oh, wow! Oh! oh. Mine's real now after you've got your 3-0 three, three up on me, look! Just there. Oh, yes! It's another piece! Oh, look at that! This is a fat piece! Oh, wow! We're now pretty far up the beach, but I wanted to show you these rock formations. Look at that, it's like something from the Grand Canyon in miniature. You can see all the layers of the strata, the different coloured rocks. It's quite dramatic. And there's the River Seven and the currents are quite lethal out there. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but you can see there's a section that's travelling really fast. It's very muddy here too. There's a big piece of metal something. You're okay when you can stay on the rocks, but then when you have to tread in the mud. Very gloopy. I don't think we're going to find much any further now. There's lots of seaweed and rocks, but I haven't seen anything interesting since we came around the corner so I think we'll now start working our way back to the beach sorry about the windy bit again and see what we can find let's see what I found oh Phil's found some things already this is a nice rock it's beautiful so what have you found Mr Johnson one of them oh one of those oh, is it? No, I thought it was a tube I'm not sure is it yes there's a hole in the end I don't know what it was for perhaps a metal plunger a syringe went in it it was metal Ooh, perhaps possibly yes it's been a bit squashed and it's a bit rotten but, but it yes. hasn't rusted obviously no. because it's made of zinc or some alloy whereas this has rusted yes that's rusty but not pretty it's very nice lovely colors let's have a closer look at that obviously meant to clamp something in there yeah and that's an end piece possibly a post could be yeah held i don't know any ideas, travel. anyone? Let us know if you think you know what that is, please. The bit of plain or pattern for you. Oh, right, so... Now, that is blue. I'm not going to let you cheat and say it's blue. That's right. blue. But is it blue plain or blue patterned? I go for patterned. Oh, it's plain. We're really not doing I'm well today. winning today. That one patterned. Yes, it's got a pattern on it. And rather than break my run, I'm going to say the next bit is pattern two. Pattern two? Patterned as well, patterned too. <laughs> there we go. Yes, that one's patterned as well. There you go. Just before we head back onto the area to pick up stuff, two important things to say. Number one, Charlie told us whatever you do, check the tide times. When you come, the river here rises and falls dramatically and it can be so dangerous. We've come around this corner. If you don't know your tide times, you could get stuck here and that wouldn't be good. Always check the tide times. Always come when the tide is at its lowest. We got here an hour before low tide so we can have two hours and know we're safe. And secondly, another important thing to say is, Wales and England, we get on fantastically. We've got two beautiful bridges joining us. 
but they're two separate countries because a lot of people in the comments keep mentioning the fact that I live in England. I live near England, but we're Welsh. I've seen one or two things in this area, so I thought we'll have a look together, see if I've missed anything. Now, this was unmissable. That's rather large. Big chunk of metal alloy, I think. And next to it is this, which is some sort of pot. Well, part of some sort of pot. The handle has come off there, perhaps a mug. And I saw something ah, there. Something that looks quite modern though. And there's a piece of glass there, which is nicely worn. Is there anything else? Have I missed anything? Can you see anything at all? You can see some glass there, but I think it's quite sharp. Yes, nothing exciting. Oh, now that's nice. I think that is possibly quite old. You can see the little bits in it where they used to crush shells and things like that. That is a really nice find. I wonder if we'll find any more like that. I'm hoping to find some fossils too. So keep your eyes peeled and let me know if you see any. This is another piece of that well-worn rock. All these little holes. Oh, spooky. I can't see in there very well. There's another hole. I'll tell you what, I'll pop you in. Be brave. If you don't like enclosed spaces, close your eyes now. That's one of the beauties of Mudlark, and we travel to find places that are interesting to Mudlark and we end up in the most stunning scenery. So I like to look up quite often when we Mudlark, it's amazing just how beautiful the world is. I put this piece of glass onto this piece of terracotta that I found because look at that, it's a heart-shaped piece of glass. I don't know if it was meant to be heart-shaped or whether that's just the way it broke, but isn't that pretty? That's got some beautiful iridescence on it. It's been in the water a while. Unfortunately, it got smashed when it washed up onto this part of the beach. There's some more green there. Hmm. That's nice with the lines on, isn't it? Oh, yes. Very cute. Want to see my stuff? Oh yes, let's have a look what you found. Oh, yeah, look at this. Out on a tree for you. But, uh, I'll show you these two first. I don't know if I have beat you this time. It's ridge pottery. Oh, well done, ridge pottery. Uh, it, it's, it's not as common here as it is on the rivers, but I did find one piece. Well done. And another little teeny piece. Oh, a little dinky piece of pipe stem. It's not much, but it's a chunky one. I found a second one of those. Oh, right. Remember we had one of those? I pop my bit in there then. And then I, I picked this up just because I thought, oh, we're not nice. Yes. Not nice. It is. It's not too bad a size to take home. No. Unlike the porthole. A porthole, is it? I think so. I think well, it could be. Look. It's a hole and mm. it's got a place for a flap. Yes. Oh, yeah. So it could well be that um, a piece of glass landed into there like that's my guess could be something else you know I'm not absolutely positive what do you think at home do you think that's part of an old porthole or something else I tell you what that could be is a sluice drain thing as well they used to put them in the side possibly. of the wall and then there was a lid that yeah. lifted up in the storms possibly I did find a second one but it was only half a one right um, well I spot your sea glass very nice yes uh, look at that one piece there is I've got some with lines on but one seems to have gold in it Oh yes, I wonder what that is. Hold it up to the light. I think you've got a pattern to it or something. Right, what's then, next? I just like that. Oh, it's ridgy. It's yes, ridged it's cast iron. It's <laughs> engineered for a purpose, <laughs> isn't it? 
Looks like a jug that way, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's got your little square there, a mm. leg of some kind. Mm. Obviously, there was possibly one the other side as well, and some down here, I don't know. Yeah. But um, it certainly looked like a piece of something. It meant to be something. Now, on the brick front, yeah. I haven't been calling I found a brick because the vast majority of the bricks I found were Star Brick Company Newport. Right. Which is to be expected because the postal code here is NP, right. Newport. We're just up the motorway from there. So there's a lot of those. I have seen an NCB Tradiga and I've seen a uh, little mill Ponty Pool, which you've seen before. But I've brought you half a brick right. simply because the half a word mm. I have not seen before. Right. Or Four Press. Yes, that's from the London Brick Company, Four Press, and it was there they found a new technique for pressing the bricks, which they pressed them four times, hence Four Press, only spelt with a PH. So I'm going to assume we have seen this before because yes. you know a lot about it. <laughs> yes. But I have such a shocking memory, and because it was half a word, and with my dyslexia, there was no way I could have made up the rest of it. I thought it was somewhere new. No, nope, we've I was had trying it. Trying to think of a place called her. Huh? Oh, you've been beaten before. Oh, well. But half a brick that tells a story. And then we come on here. Oh, some goodies here. A couple of nice tiles there. The shadow's a bit of a pain, sorry to say. So we've got that, which is like a brownie colour. But this is a lovely colour. It's like a peacock blue. Isn't that nice? No. And... As opposed to the other side of this water, there's not so much fossils, but that seemed to be... Oh, that's a nice fossil, yes. It's broken off for shame, so we can't really tell what it is to the full, but... Uh... Oh, it's nice, though. But I just thought, well, I'd pick up a bit of fossil for those who love rocks, because we've got yes. quite a few rock people on our channel. Rock people? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like some sort the of marble monster. <laughs> right, let's have and a then look. terracotta. Lots there of is it. so much terracotta here. Mm. See, that's got a mild curve to it. Yes, that's So much of it has got a gentle curve, mm. which kind of made me think, this, this isn't sewer pipe. It could be garden stuff that's broken. And that's the edge of a pot, isn't it? That's the edge of something, isn't it, for sure. Mm, I wonder if that's Roman. And that's a rim that's been glazed. Oh, that's yes. That's a, a proving bowl. A proving bowl, yep, Again, quite right. a big one. If you look at the angle of that, imagine how far you'd have to go. Yeah, so come back on itself. To come back. That'd be huge. And what's this shoe? And this one I just thought was interesting because I can't quite figure that out because it's got black layers through it. Yep. And it's Ooh, green. That is lovely. I think that could be old. Wouldn't it be nice if it was a floor tile from a Roman villa? It could be. That'd be good. Oh, I think it's a bit bendy on the end for that. I think it's probably some sort of bowl or pot. I love that. Very nice. So oh, that's magical. Phil is engrossed with looking. There are so many things to find on this beach and lots of finds are in fairly close proximity, which is always good. So I'm going to pop you down there now to look and don't forget, shout if you see something. Oh, there's a little piece of sea glass with lines on. Oh, is that a fossil? There? I think it is. Let's have a look. Yes, I'd say that's a fossil. A couple of little ones around the big one. Anything on the back? No. Oh, that was a nice find. Lots of pretty stones. Oh, what's this? Is that pipe stem? Surely not. Is that another piece of pipe stem? Yes, it is. Oh, look. Another piece. Wow. Oh, so exciting. Right. Let's keep looking. There may be more. Oh, more sea glass. Most of the good things seem to have washed right up the beach. When I was down at the water down there, there wasn't very much to find. But now we've come back up, there is a lot more here. That's a pretty stone. And there with some lines on. Oh, some glass. I don't know how old that is. It's got some writing on the bottom, but I can't identify that. Let's have a look what else is here. I think I can see a bit of pipe stem just in front of it. Where? Just in yes. front. Can anybody see? See, see the end of the shadow? End of your shadow. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Before I get to there, I was looking and I found, I think, one here. Oh, yes. 
There's a piece. It's there. the Tom Burley theory of collectivity. Yes. Things collect in one area if they're of a similar density and size and shape. Look at that, another two pieces of pipe stem. Oh, this is such a fun mudlock. There's a glimmer on that, like a shimmer. Ah, oh, though, that looks like the, another piece for that pot Phil found, which could be old. That yep. one's on both sides, Glaze. It is, it? it's lines that side, but there seems to be a pattern on this side. My piece had split, didn't it? Yes. Along a line, so they didn't have anything on the one side? No, that's the same dark surface, but it's got the green underneath. Yep. Oh, I wonder what we found. Ooh, could be exciting. Could be nothing. <laughs> could be. <laughs> could be wonderful. Oh, I must have missed this. That is pretty. Well, let's hold that up to the light. Now that's green up there, but if I take it out of the sunshine, it's got like a purple tinge to it. That is a really pretty piece of glass. Whoops. Inside you can see the iridescence too. That's lovely. More pipe stems we're looking for, as well as other things, but I'm just addicted to pipe stems. What's this? Piece of glass with a little bit of writing on, not a lot. Oh, another piece of glass. Green again. Well, that's very red. No, I think it's a brick. I'm trying not to get too dirty because there's no access to water here, so once you're covered in mud, you stay covered in mud. Because even though all that water's there, to get to it, I'd have to paddle through some very treacherous mud flats, so I'll just stay muddy. like a piece of shell oh yes it is I think that's a cafe shell we found lots of little bits but that's the biggest bit so far let's see if we can find any more around here you never know oh what's that I can't tell it feels metal, it looks like a stone and it's got this like glazing on, some sort of brown glaze. Hmm, not sure, what's this shirt? No, oh, it's just a piece of interesting metal. Then I was hoping it was some sort of fixing off a Roman centurion shoe. Unfortunately, I don't think it is. I found something interesting. Something interesting? Yes. It's, it's not a medieval find. Right. But it shows how you can learn as you go. Right. Because now I was trying to figure out the one piece of terracotta, because they said it's curved, yep. but it doesn't seem to flow into a bowl or any other shape. Yep. I have solved the problem. Oh, right. It's just a much larger piece. Oh, yes. It's a roof tile. Oh, that would make sense, yes. Curved, and then they, all, they, they lapped over one another. Right. Down like that and that would have come to the edge. Oh! So it does give an explanation for why it had the rim and the dip, but it didn't really feel like it was gonna go round into a bowl. There we go. So the more you look, the more you learn. Well, it certainly turned out to be a lovely warm day it's and my boiling. coat is gone <laughs> and I'm starting to melt. But as well as the beautiful surroundings, as Caroline's mentioned, you have got the backdrop of lorries, buses, cars, all crossing over the Severn Bridge, which is right on top of us here. And that bridge was, the work on that began a year before Caroline was born, and she was two and a half by the time it was finished. It took three and a half years to build. It's just almost a mile long, and it crosses two rivers because we're on the Severn, but we are at the edge of Wales because over there on the other side of this little peninsula is the River Wye and it crosses both. 
and it stands about 445 feet high so it's a fairly big bridge and was massive in its time when it opened but then the second seven crossing is down below this one was opened by the queen that down below was opened by prince charles her son the prince of wales it was known as the second seven crossing for years but two years ago it changed and it's now known as the prince of wales bridge some debate over what name they should have but the one thing everyone was happy with was they stopped the tolls and we no longer had to pay over five pound to get back into wales every time we went out so that was good news and that bridge down there being further down the estuary that's three times longer than this but about the same height just a meter or so taller so we're well connected but it can be a little distracting anyway let's see what else we can find before our day on the beach is over well i found some things that i'll show you down here i found this big lump of quartzy crystal that's lovely i always like the look on this now charlie said yes that the quartz we found on the other side was mined for the plasterboard industry for making oh, plaster gypsum is it gypsum yeah so now whether that's the piece he was talking about but the stuff we were picking up over there that's what it was right so there we oh, go that's Bit interesting and i've also got a little piece of green pottery nothing tremendous i don't think i don't think it's old and another piece of shiny shell which isn't shining so much because the sun has just gone in but this is something i love i think if you hold it that way it's a shrimp a fossil of a shrimp what do you think if you look there there's all the little legs coming down and the scales on the body and that's where his head came to a point so i think that's the fossil of a shrimp that'd be good because we found the fossil of a shrimp on the other a side a year ago when we were over yeah. on the opposite side down by the new bridge there we go shrimps everywhere shrimp galore at least two yeah <laughs> Oh, it's another piece of pipe stem. Yes, look, that's the bit that joined onto the bowl. Oh, this is an amazing medlock. I am so happy finding all these bits of stem. Oh, look under my foot. So another piece. Yep. And let's look. There's a nice piece of river glass there. Oh, there's, I don't believe this, there's another little piece there and I've already spotted, whoops, dropping my piece of pottery, another piece there. Wow, look at that. Over here, there, ooh. Wow, this is an amazing lot of pipe stems. I could stay here all day just looking for those. I've been checking all along the walls and I've seen two pieces of pipe stem so I thought I'd let you enjoy you see me pick them up so you can see them. There we go, there's one. And there's another. Now I thought there's probably more if there's two. There is. So oh I can see another piece there. Three in just that very whoops, that's not that's a stone. Three in that very small area. I got one. Oh Phil's got one as well. That's true. Oh, right, let's come and have a look. Maybe nice if there was a bit of pipe on the end. <laughs> I've got a feeling there's not. Oh, and look at that. It's thin now, it is. Oh, what have you found? I don't know. Is it a stone or is it a bone? Mm. Fossilised, petrified. I'm not sure. See that? That shape there. I just caught the eye. Could be a vertebrae, couldn't it? A vertebra? A bit vertebra is single, isn't it? It's hard to tell. It's just it's so flattened off there that it looks like it could have gone to another piece of something mm. in there. Could be. You may have found a bone, you may have found a rock. I'm going to go for a vertebrae because it sounds better than bitter stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this piece of metal? Oops. Ooh. I think it's a shell case of a bullet. What do you think with that end on that? That's what it looks like to me. Can't think of anything else it could be. Hmm, that's an exciting find. Hmm, what's that? It's metal. Oh, it's a dial or something. 
four, three, two, one. I wonder if that's of an aeroplane. We are fairly near an airbase, yeah? Oh, wow. That would be brilliant if it was, wouldn't it? It's not extremely old because there seems to be some plastic or possibly baker light there. Hmm, I'm going to take that home and check it out. If you know any information on this, then please let me know in the comments. That looks really interesting. Is it off an old aeroplane? There's a little bit more of something there. I'll show you the contacts. Maybe that will help somebody if they're looking to check out what it is for me. There's a nice piece of bottle. Green once upon a time. Hmm, now is this an older piece of pottery because of all the little bits inside it where something's been crushed to hold it together. The only thing that makes me think possibly it isn't is because it's so flat and all the pieces I've seen like that tend to be rounded where they've been made on a wheel. Hmm. I don't know. Well, this seems to have some lines along it, so I think that's more modern. When we're mudlarking, we do spend some time splitting up and looking on our own and then it makes it quite exciting because you can see Phil there setting up something to show us his finds. Right, so what have you got? Right. We've, I'm going to show you my finds in a moment, but we've played plane or pattern quite a lot over the time. Yep. We've done palm top plane or pattern and like all major games that develop, you have to come up with new methods. So today, my dear, it's speed plane or pattern. Oh, right. Okay, then. And I'm going to just point and you say I will turn over and people can see what I've found. Right. This one. Plane. Patterned. This one. Plane. Patterned. Patterned. This one. It's going to be plain, isn't it? No. no. <laughs> Patterned. Plain. A tiny Patent. bit. Patterned. Yes. Patterned. Plain. Um, oh, I don't know. Plain. Oh, pattern! Look at that one, isn't that beautiful? That is lovely. This one? Plain. No, pattern. This one? Uh, patterned. Yeah, it is embossed. It is. It's got an embossed on it, yes. Right. Plain. Correct. Plain. Correct. Patterned. Correct. Oh. Now, all I'd like to say is, we're out of the valleys. Yep. We're up near Chepstow, and there was quite a bit of wealth up these this way and i think that is reflected in the various ages of pottery yes showing more this is not me leaving plain out they, i am picking up three to one plain to pattern here and whereas down near home we would be picking up three to one the other way around yes so i just think it's interesting socially you know but they beautiful they are some lovely ones eh look at that and then if you come to my ready-made display oh, table all right okie dokie and this display table i didn't realize when i was setting up at first mm -hmm. my first find is just to prove there are a lot of bricks here from star company newport <laughs> national star company newport in situ yes we've had star star newport star company newport we've had star with stars and now we've had the national star there we go but i can't take that all too big no it is a mark there but these couldn't go in plain old pattern because saying about posh china in this part of the world, if you turn them oh, over, it's both it's sides. even better pattern. Yes. I think they're possibly Lovely. somebody's best set. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that a nice bit of chimp top of the chimney pot? Could well be, yes. A very yes. fancy chimney pot, you think? Let's have a look inside. Oh, it's not sooty, but then again, if it's been in the water, it wouldn't be. Hmm. Yeah, possibly. I, that's what I'm thinking, that line there and hmm. splaying out. Architectural salvage. Definitely. I think that covers it. A little bit of architectural salvage. Here's my three. Oh, they're nice. I love it when they come out like this. They will dry off to be in a cream colour, but I just love them when they're that dark colour. We very rarely find them that colour. There's a boot of a nail. Ooh, I or wonder what that nail. came off. Let's have a look at the end. Hmm. These just because they're rusty. Yeah. Yes, they are rusty. Well done. Well spotted. So there's a the nice shaped piece that is obviously been bevelled. Yeah. I would say that's possibly a window thingy for opening your windows, possibly. Possibly, possibly, yeah, could well be. Ooh, we got, oh, we got another one of those. Another one. But these, mm -hmm. now they are weird. Careful because they're very sharp. 
right. points on them. But mm. I see there's like material on them. Yeah. I'm wondering if they were, you know, under, se under settees sometimes in the old rain oh, they yes. through like that. Oh, springs know, perhaps. Sort of perhaps tensioning were, the material yeah, or they, they, webbing what, or something. Maybe they were th like that, zigzagging all the way up and they're actually out of a sofa. Yep, good point. See that sharp as stink on mm. there where they've threaded through the material, possibly. No, I think they're well, possibly or possibly erosion and snapping, yes. But you wouldn't want to get your finger caught on that, no. you need a tetanus. Before we leave this spot, um, this is going to look like a setup, dear, but if you'd like to come around by here, yeah. When you were coming over, I decided to sit here and move my stuff onto there, right? And I looked down. And that is oh. <laughs> that's the biggest piece we've seen. Yes, we were you were hoping to find a pipe wow. bowl, but it's not a full bowl. Look! Oh, and literally as I sat down here, I'd set it all up and when I yep. sat to put those there, I spotted that on the floor, so I thought oh, I'd leave it there. Look. Oh that is lovely. Ooh, there you go. Well spotted. Well, that's as good a place to end as any. We were hoping to get a bit more of a pipe. We didn't get a full bowl, but we got that and that's good enough for me. Hope you've had a great time with us here on the edge of Wales. If you have, give us that thumbs up. And don't forget, leave us a comment. And most of all, till we see you again, have fun. Bye. Bye.